One day, over 2,000 people from around 30 different nations will work here. Even in unfinished form, it is already a potent architectural symbol, the new European Central Bank headquarters in Frankfurt. The new ECB is a structure of immense symbolic power. The Euro is in deep crisis and Europe is in the grips of controversy and protest. Yet the new shrine to the common European currency soars confidently into the sky. The high-rise complex was designed by the architectural firm Korb Himmelblau. Wolf de Prix, one of the firm's founders, gives us a behind-the-scenes tour. We'll take a virtual walk through the building. We'll start at the entrance over there. Korb Himmelblau won the competition to design the new building in 2004. Afterwards, though, the project was marked by setbacks and delays. Construction finally began six years later. How should the entrance of the headquarters of the European Central Bank look? Do we want it to be modest or expansive? We decided the high-rise needs a grand entryway. The ECB complex incorporates the old market hall on the historic register. The Frankfurt landmark was built in 1928 by Martin Elsässer. The long red brick structure extends across the front of the complex, forming an entry point to the central bank. Finding a workable compromise was tricky. We developed many different variations at different stages of the project. But they all took into account the proportions of Elsässer's market hall. The high-rise is made up of two towers, wrapped around a central atrium. The entire structure is clad in an energy-efficient facade. We took what would have been a massive and immobile tower and divided it into two on the diagonal. Then we took the two halves and placed them next to each other. That's why one of the towers is narrow on the bottom and wide up the top. The other one reverses that. The diagonal intersection faces out and lends the building a strong sense of movement and dynamism. That sense of movement is enhanced by the slight rotation of the towers and the tapered corners. What began as a simple architectural concept is now a complex and elegant structure. When we design and build using computers, we can draw upon an entirely new geometry. We can create more complex geometric shapes than a Gothic tower. But the dynamism we achieve is very much the same. The two towers are connected by a vertical city, a skylit atrium with hanging gardens, connecting bridges and four platforms equipped with lounges to facilitate informal communication. The project is Prix's largest to date. Back in 1968, Wolf Prix founded Korb Himmelblau in Vienna. The young iconoclasts wanted architecture that bleeds, burns and stings, alluring buildings that disrupt conventional ideas of functionality and design. Youthful, edgy and anachronistic, Korb Himmelblau laid claim to being the architectural version of the Rolling Stones. It's an image they still cultivate today, though they've long since joined the big leagues of international architectural design. The new central bank headquarters is also conceived as an explicit political statement. In a deliberate counterpoint to the old financial center, the new complex is located in Frankfurt's up-and-coming eastern district. The ECB is a very important move in terms of urban development. By creating a second center in this way, we're also creating an interplay, a productive interplay, that will help spur new developments. We're advocates of this theory because it supports a dynamic idea of urban development instead of a conservative one. The ECB will change the structure of power in Frankfurt, architecturally, politically and financially. 
One day the building will house the guardians of the common currency and wield control over Europe's banks. Despite the euro crisis, PRIX is undeterred. The building will be a bastion of stability, just like the euro, I hope. Either way, the ECB is set to move into its new home in 2014.